Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Ali Nanyas, and I'm um, the creator of these uh, YouTube videos. Uh, typically, the scenes from games that I've watched just for, for keepsakes, and the um, some of the weightlifting, weight training videos. Now, I should explain a little bit of why I make these weight training videos. Uh, I've been lifting pretty regularly since 1972, you know, to get ready for junior high football. I've been in a, in a lot of weight rooms, military bases, Air Force bases, Navy bases, and in universities and in public gyms. I've seen a lot of people lift. And I'm aware of what a strong lifter looks like and what a strong lifter does. And I'm aware that I'm not one of them. I've never been especially strong. My lifetime gym, uh, personal best says 310 on the bench press. So, so that was back in 1986. And of course, I was heavier than I was on the order of 35 pounds heavier than I am now. And my best deadlift, not at a meet, but in the gym, is about 410, 415. And that was also in the 1980s. And um, so, as you can see, my numbers are not especially, were never especially good. And they're a lot worse than that as I've aged and got and got some uh, chronic conditions. Now, the reason I, I started recording my, my workouts is that I, you know, when the pandemic occurred and the gyms closed, I bought a lot of gym equipment so I can continue to work out. And I have a problem in my back, lower lumbar stenosis. And for the experts, it's spondylolisthesis, a slip L5 vertebra, slip forward a little bit. It's degree one, the lowest kind, but Anytime my back goes into extension, that is if I arch it this way, I get some radiating pain and sometimes the radiating pain can last. I was having trouble walking as of a year and a half ago, but that's gotten a lot better. And one of the reasons it's gotten better is I've done a lot of uh, modification of my weight training exercises. I use a belt for the trap bar deadlift and I use a trap bar rather than a conventional bar. I've been, I, record so I can make sure that I have no back extension and no back rounding. So I want to keep that, you know, I don't want any spinal flexion when I'm doing that. And on my bench, I have to take the leg drive completely out. I put my legs up on a bench. And one of the things I look at is sometimes when I'm trying for that final rep, I can see myself tensing up and you can see just a tiny bit of uh, lumbar involvement. And I'm trying to, you know, remove that. And when I do the pull-ups, uh, in the past, I had a lot more body swing. You know, they were not super strict pull-ups, but I was getting my chin over the bar. But at times I was getting that extension in my lower back and I would find my, I would feel the radiating pain after a set of pull-ups. So I've started doing uh, smaller num uh, sets of smaller number of reps and doing lots of singles where I do a, do a rep reset, do a rep, reset, making sure I get my knees in front of me to put myself in a, a more lumbar friendly position. So these videos are not about me saying, oh, look at me, I'm good. I know I'm not. I mean, I, I have age peers who are deadlifting on the order of two, 300 pounds more than I am. Uh, uh, never mind the other, other lifts. I understand that. Um, so they're not show off, attempts to show off. I have nothing to show off. In fact, my own wife bought me a t-shirt that said I lift because I like it, not because I'm good at it. But in my case, I also want to be able to say, do, do household things that carry the water jugs in and be able to walk without radiating pain. And I do think the weight training has helped with that proper weight training. But I'm always looking to see if I'm doing things that might make my condition worse. So that's the reason for the angle of the videos. And that's the real reason I take them. And I put them on my blog so I can go back and look and say, oh man, I was getting a little bit of a backache there. Was I doing anything different? So that's the reason for them. And thanks for listening.